Now, I've traveled a lot of miles recently in this great country of ours, and I've met a lot of politicians. Some good, some not so good. Reportando en la oficina de Senator Shelby. You can't answer? No. You, you, no, no, you no, work no, for no. us. But in my mind, the absolute worst politician in North America, one who's not in prison, going to prison, or is in rehab, exists right here in Detroit City, Wayne County, Michigan. His name's Bob Facano. He's running for re-election. And he works right in there. Hey, Bob, you know what time it is? It's late 30. You're running, you didn't sure. tell me. Why don't you, uh, why don't we, we'll set up an appointment. You... Okay. Detroit is the capital of Wayne County, where Bob Facano is the head honcho. And Bob's in a lot of trouble. He's at the center of a full-blown FBI corruption probe and a grand jury investigation of his abandoned jail project that will cost the taxpayers nearly $400 million. No wonder Detroit's bankrupt. Then there's his crumbling racetrack that costs the taxpayer tens of millions, and the overpriced skyscraper where Bob's pals got paid nearly three times its appraised value. I'm sure you've got problems in your neck of the woods, but sheesh, how low does it go? This low. Two of Bob's senior lieutenants are heading to prison for stealing. One of them spent $10,000 of the public's money on hair plugs. And look, they didn't even work. Despite all this, Bob is running for re-election. So the jail, 400 million wasted. Two of your underlings in uh, going to federal prison, a worse budget than the city of Detroit. Can't you answer the question? Bob's running in politicians on both sides of Eight Mile Road, both Democrat and Republican, think it's a joke. This is the prosecutor of Wayne County, you know, Detroit Wayne County, and there's a politician she thinks is the worst in America, and his name is? Bob Ficano. Someone said to me, I think I was on a radio show, a local radio show here, and someone said, uh, or the interviewer said, if you're Bob, you know, what would you do? I said, I'd go home, I'd, um, close the garage door, leave the engine running, and have a good bottle of wine. And everybody thought I was serious, and I had to you know, back out of that story. He's a very good friend to rapists, murderers, robbers, and child molesters. You need to fund the mandated services first, and then you can fund the things that you want to fund, either to make yourself look good or your pet programs. Bob Ficano is a... Fill in the blank. Yeah, I am. There's so many things you can say. Bob Ficano is, he's um, going to be looking for, work, looking for work next year. And can your politicians beat this? Bob doled out big pensions and sweetheart severance checks to his cronies while cutting the budgets of public safety, allowing rapists to walk around the streets. He also cut Meals on Wheels, allowing old people to walk around hungry. <gasps> the broccoli's brown. Are we really saving money, Bob? Say, Bob, why don't we just feed him cat food? It's only 50 cents a can at the store, retail, full of animal byproducts, and it's really not bad. They're probably better than that. I don't expect any media bullying, OK? But everything Charlie, in this county is going Enough of the media bullying. Stop with the media bullying. Charlie? You're bullying me, Bob. Charlie? Yes. Stop the media bullying. Now, I know what it's like to be bullied. Bob once tried to get me fired. He even once tried to ban our cameras from county property. That's public property. Still shots only. If you want me to call the police, I can. Yeah, please. No media bullying. Now, I don't want to be known as the guy who bullied the poor little political boss of the Detroit Democratic machine. Bob? So I did some checking. Media bullying, Madam Prosecutor, have you heard of, is this a law of media? I've never heard of that. I've never heard of that. Even though I may not like it, I'm a public figure, and if a reporter wants to come up and ask me a question, they can do that. I'm afraid of Americans. Hey, Bob, good morning. So I did some checking with the prosecutor, and there's no such thing as media bullying. Charlie, you're a media bully right now. I'm asking you politely to please set up a public figure, public street. So listen. You haven't, you haven't, uh, you haven't uh, two days in a row set an appointment. 
Okay, I'm going to give you 15 seconds, uninterrupted. Pitch me. Come live in Bafacano's Wayne County. And Charlie, Charlie, I'm asking you politely not to be a bully and to please set up an appointment. That's not real. 15 seconds, pitch me. Come live in Wayne County. Charlie, I'm, a I'm, Charlie, I'm asking you politely. I'm asking you politely. I'm just on the street to here. Please not bother me and to set up an appointment Action. and stop being a bully. What's good about Bafacano's Wayne County? Charlie, you're being a bully. Action. In Detroit, for the Americans, pitch us. Are you the worst politician in America? Charlie Ladoff. Send me your suggestions if you have them right here. Worst politician in America.